guys, um, this is Ella here again. Um, I've actually already filmed this video but I really didn't like it. Um, so I'm doing it again and this is 10 tips for your showreel. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Tip number one. What kind of actor do you want to be? And do you think your current showreel or the showreel that you're currently making adequately represents that? Um, now what I mean by that is that your showreel should not only just demonstrate you acting, but it should really demonstrate the kind of roles you want to play. If you want to play a certain type of role and you don't have it in your showreel and you're not already showcasing that you can play that kind of role, then I would recommend getting something filmed or adding that kind of footage onto your showreel because your showreel, you really want to put your best foot forward. You want to show characters that you really want to play. You want to show yourself playing them so that people look at them and they get that idea because sometimes a showreel can be quite misleading when we put a showreel out there with just for the sake of getting footage out honestly we, we've all done it but you put a showreel out just for the sake of having one but it's not strategic enough and when there are thousands and thousands and thousands of actors out there right now all gunning for the same roles as you it's that's what's going to make the difference is, is your showreel better? Is it more strategic? Are you showing that you can actually pull that role off? Because there's no point in having a showreel that's just aimless um, with roles that you don't really want to play because then you're just basically going to end up getting seen for those roles the majority of the time. Yeah. Tip number two. Acquire some footage. Now, I honestly want you to go away and just apply to a bunch of student films, apply to a bunch of short films, apply to just about anything because I want you to come back with a whole range of footage and some of them you're going to look at them and go I can never use this footage, it's terrible and just we'll throw it away and pretend that would never happen but I want you to genuinely have a nice range of scenes that you can take a look at and go what showcases my acting the best, where do I think I really shined, which one of these is the closest to my cast type like that's what I want you to do, I want you to have actual choice instead of going away and doing one or two student films uh, or short films and then just being left with such a small amount of footage because the truth is is that most of these films do, they, they don't pay you, right, they just don't and the only reason I would ever recommend for an actor to do unpaid work is to gain experience at the beginning of their career or to get showreel scenes because it can avoid you then having to pay down the line to get one done um, but as the saying goes, no showreel is better than a bad showreel. So once you're getting the footage back, if none of it really speaks to you or none of it's good enough, just scrap it and try again because you do not want a bad showreel going out there of you. Tip number three. Do you have friends near and about you that work in the industry? Do you have a friend that's a director? Do you have a friend that likes writing? Do you have a friend that's got a great camera and loves using it? Do you have friends that are actors? In which case, gather them all together and why not say, hey guys, who wants footage for their reel? Why don't we film something? Like, why don't we all come together and film something? Everybody contribute, let's make something. This is really something that I would really recommend for all of my actor friends and actor strangers alike. Make something. Get that footage that you need because not everybody can afford to just travel up and down the country doing these student films. Not everybody can afford to pay to have one done and you still need that footage. So gather your friend, make something, even if it's not good enough to use. You've come together, you've made something and you've had a laugh doing it. Tip number four. Let's say you've got footage, right? You've got it there, beautiful, stunning. Um, you don't know what to do next, right? Um, what I want you to do is pick a maximum of three scenes. No more than three scenes should be in your showreel. And I mean that as the absolute maximum. Because the minute you start going over that and you start making your showreel more choppy, whoever's watching it is kind of going to lose interest because they want to be just zapped into you and your performance with as little distractions as possible. So stick to the best three scenes. And if you've got less than three, perfect. D don't go over it. In fact, one scene is literally fine. It's perfect. Tip number five, give the montage a miss. Now, I know how cool it can look, right? When you click on like somebody's showreel and you see like this 30 second montage with music and they're like beating each other up and, it's, and then there's a wee clip of them crying. I'm sure most of you know this will know what I'm talking about and if you don't, it's okay, it's fine. 
but usually um, a lot of actors add this 30 second odd montage at the beginning just showing off some of their skills and it's great and it looks cool but you know what I've never once met a casting director that told me they liked it through all the casting directors I've met, all the workshops I've done, all I've ever been told is don't add a montage. It's incredibly frustrating because act casting directors are already under a time crunch and they simply cannot afford to sit there for those extra 30 seconds on every single person's showreel because the matter of the fact is they usually only watch like 30 seconds to a minute, minute and a half if they're feeling generous of your showreel. Um, so give it a miss because ultimately you're going to get a little tick in their good books for not making them sit through a montage so take out the high speed you know beating people up crying emotional breakdowns yada yada take all that out take out the music and just literally start with your slate with your showreel your agent's details your details emails blah blah blah, blah. Wow, i'll go over this in another tip but literally just the slate straight into your scenes ending slate that's it tip number six say no to the soundtrack now, what I mean by this is casting directors don't like watching a showreel and you having added all this music on top that wasn't previously there. If a scene in your showreel has music in it, um, just naturally, that's fine. But don't overlap your showreel with music. It doesn't need a soundtrack. If anything, casting directors tend to find it incredibly distracting because they just want to hear you, your tonality, your voice, the breathing, the pitch, this and that. They want to see you using your skills. They don't want to see this scene that looks like a music video. Your showreel should not look like a music video. It should literally just be the scenes on their own with your slate, your slate. That is it. Tip number seven. This is just a quick one. But remember the slate at the beginning, the slate at the end. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of saying slate. I don't know the exact terminology, but um, you know at the beginning when you would see a photograph of the actor's headshot with their contact details or their agent's contact details and their full name. You need to add that to the end as well. Here's why. Because a casting director has just watched through probably hundreds of showreels at this point, looked at hundreds of people's headshots. By the time they get to the end of your showreel, they probably don't even know what your name is, let alone anything else. So you want to make sure that you get that reminder in so they know who you are, not just at the beginning, not just at the end, but both. Get those slates in. Full name, first, last name, headshot, at least one. Make it big, make it bold. They want to know what you look like. They want to be able to recognise you because let's say you're not right for that part, but there could be another part down the line. And by just reminding them what you look like with that headshot beginning, end, you've got more of a chance they're going to look at that and go, oh, I remember their showreel actually. I think they'd be good for this. And that could bag you a whole other audition. So beginning, end, get it in. Get a big, bold picture of your headshot, big picture of your headshot, your contact details, your full name, your agent's contact details, any contact details, right? Just make sure you get it in. Tip number eight, your showreel should be a maximum of two minutes and a half. I'm gonna say that again. Your showreel should be a maximum of two minutes and a half. And if your showreel is ridiculously long, i.e. it's like four or five minutes, chances are the casting director is gonna say, uh-uh, I ain't even gonna watch that. Why? Because it's just far too much. And they're probably already detecting, ding, 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 that you're gonna have a really long montage in there. Just two minutes and a half, right? Because ideally they're probably not even gonna watch more than a minute. But you wanna keep it nice and small so that if they did decide to keep watching, it's not ridiculously long. Just two minutes and a half, those three scenes, slate beginning, slate end. Tip number nine. Once again, a kind of controversial one, but honestly on this channel, I'm just kind of blast at. So, uh, tip number nine, I think I just said, is no monologues on your showreel. What I mean by that is <clears throat> not just like a scene where you give a monologue. I'm talking about at home, like this setting, film the monologue for your showreel. Don't do it. It's better to have none at all because it doesn't look professional. It doesn't look like you've ever been on a set to have any footage to make one. It's just a big no-no. Just 
ignore it. It's better to have no showreel than a bad showreel. Hopefully I'll get that drilled into everyone's head by the end of this video. No showreel is better than a bad showreel. No filming monologues at home for your reels. <sighs> Tip number 10. I know that I said no montage and I know that a lot of people use that montage to showcase their skills. Now, if you've got particular skills, let's say um, stunt training or just like really, really interesting and unique skills and you want to showcase that, have a skills reel. It's very uncommon, so you would definitely be up there with the very few that have one, but it's another way to get to demonstrate those skills that's not going to really annoy anybody. So, on Spotlight, there's the option. You have to pay money for it um, to do an upgrade on Spotlight, so it kind of is really up to you, but on there, you can have a longer, longer time because on Spotlight, you have a maximum of five minutes of footage that's included in just like your standard membership. You can upgrade that, but they only give you five minutes because your showreel shouldn't even be over two minutes and a half. So ideally, for a lot of people, they could have the two minutes and a half showreel and the two minutes and a half dance reel or singing reel or anything like that. So have your showreel as your number one, but as your second option, have, have a skills reel if you want it. And then that way, if a casting director is ever going to click to go see your showreel, they could say, ooh, they've got a wee skills reel, like... Maybe I'll come back and watch it, or maybe I'll watch it now, I've got the time. And that way you're still getting to showcase your skills, and you're not annoying anybody. <laughs> Alright guys, so those were 10 showreel tips. Thank you so much for coming along and watching. Um, as always, if you do have a video suggestion, just let me know in my DMs, down below in the comments. Um, I have got a full list going on right now that I'm trying to work through, um, slowly but surely, but I am still taking... Um, suggestions so if there's anything you want me to film just let me know and I'll get it done so yes uh, have a lovely one and I'll see you all later bye